Hi everybody, Marianne here. I am back with D-Stash blowout sale video number three. Number three. Um, just in case you didn't see it on video number two, I said there will be four, the, the next four envelopes, and there was only two because my system got shut down right after, in the middle of the third one. So I just cut it off at two and decided to do a, the next one with the next two. So this is D-Sesh Blowout video, Sale, video number three. So let's get started on this one. I have just two for you in this video. I figure if I keep them a little bit shorter, they'll be easier to uh, watch. And this is flat rate envelope number seven. If you haven't seen the other videos and this is the first one you're looking at, there are two other videos, so be sure to take a peek at those. Um, there are six previous envelopes, uh, flat rate envelopes like this, that I have stuffed uh, to the gills full of uh, brand new unused stamps, dies, embossing folders, that type of thing. Uh, that I am de-stashing. I have moved to a smaller studio and I don't have room for everything. I was teaching classes. I've got multiples of things. I've got brand new things that have never been opened. So I am uh, not making any money on it. Uh, most of it, I'm not even going to recoup what I spent on it, but I don't have the, <clears throat> the time to sell things individually one by one because I literally have hundreds and hundreds of items. So I am putting them together in flat rate envelopes and selling them as bulk and you win here. They're all at least 50% lower than retail. So flat rate envelope number seven retails at $455 and D stash sale price is $227. That uh, is with free shipping. I will pay the flat rate shipping to get that to you. So that's a killer deal. It is a killer deal. Hopefully there's some things in there that you want. So let's run through that envelope right now and see what's in there. Uh, the two envelopes that I have for you um, today on this video are uh, quite different. They're both a lot of fun. One of them, um, one I think it's the next one, has a whole bunch of Disney and Pixar. This one has a whole variety. Some of them will be mostly one brand. Others have you know, five or six or 10 different brands in them. So let's start right here with the Spellbinders. This is a die. Um, it is a die of a fringe, fringe garland. And when you cut that out, this is what you get. It's a strip of paper that you put in the die cuts and gives you garland on both sides of it. So you can wrap that around a little plant that you're giving. You can put that on cards, you know, do all the kinds of things with garland. And here is your create a cone die. Um, as you cut this out and then you roll it together, you get your ice cream cone. You can put it on top of cupcakes, obviously. You can use a nice solid card stock and then fill it up with goodies for a party. That's a fun one to use. This is uh, Kelly Creates. It is mandala stamps. So um, it's so fun to, to uh, color mandalas. If you like to color mandalas, the, these are really fun ones. There's three of them. You can't hardly see that one, but you stamp them all across your own page and then you can color them however you want. And you know that every time you color it differently, uh, it looks like it's a completely different mandala. Uh, here is a Hampton Arts. There's 12 pieces in this one. It is a stamp set. It's obviously not staying completely in place. There's three Floor de Lis. One of them's upside down there. That one's black. This one's white. This one's white. Black on white, white on black. And this one is just the outline of the Floor de Lis. There is love, be yourself, hold hands, count your blessings, cherish the little things, be your own kind of beautiful. I have this set, like it a lot. This makes a great uh, pennant banner. This uh, ma makes a good mirror or um, a place to stamp a sentiment. So you stamp that on your card and then you stamp the sentiment inside that oval. Here's a baby set from Doodlebug Design. Uh, it says baby, there's tiny baby face, a bigger baby face. Um, it's a girl, it's a boy, uh, large bottles, small bottles, pacifier, um, bear, the baby carriage, the um, old fashioned uh, diaper pin. 
trying to hurry through this because I know you just want to see what's in it. You don't want to um, watch forever. All right, this one is Create a Party Hat. It looks very similar to the cone one, except this is an outside frame. Uh, it is not attached to that inner piece, and it does give you instructions, but you end up being able to create a, um, a party hat like that. So always fun to make the party hats. Okay, a dilution stamp. I love dilutions. These are fun. Uh, I also love the paper that comes behind it, the cardstock. You can use that to make awesome tags and mixed media. Uh, you may not have lost all your marbles, but there's definitely a hole in the bag. If it doesn't make you feel fabulous, don't do it. Don't buy it. Don't keep it. I'm a rainbow sprinkle in a vanilla world. Pretending I'm a pleasant person is exhausting. I can hardly wait to regret this. Laugh till you leak. It just makes it funnier. Life is a zoo. Never feed the monkeys. Don't give me attitude. I already have it. So that's that's a fun one. All right. Here's a recollections a stamp. There's four in this stamp. It says, why not? Can't see them. Why not dream big? So you can see the big is big and it's got design inside the letters. It actually, it's the, the shadowing of the letters and dream is a, a really pretty script. So I like that they did them separately because you can use these with other things or you can use them by themselves, but you can also use them together. <clears throat> All right, Spellbinder Celebrations. These are pierced word bubbles. These are dies. And so uh, here's the solid die. And then on the inside is the where it pierces just like tiny little stitching around the outside. So there's actually six dies in here. So you have uh, word bubbles of all sizes. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, so if you haven't seen these before, this outside ring right here that you see the rooster in is separate from the rooster. And so you would put, put this ring on your acrylic block. And then inside the ring, you would put the rooster, or any of the others. You've got a, a garden watering can, an old-fashioned tricycle, a black sheep, a white sheep, a birdhouse, the spoons, a bee, and the uh, patriotic heart. So then you put that stamp inside of that ring, and then you ink it up, and then when you stamp it, you get your inside image with the uh, frame around it. If you want to adjust the little thing, the rooster or any of these, you can put just that one on your acrylic block and stamp it. You can also take this ring and use the ring with other things. I've got several sets of these and, and so they're all interchangeable. Just in this set, there's 10 switchable stamps. So these are super versatile to do a lot of things with. All right. We have Spellbinder Celebrations. This is a die uh, that says eat cake. So the eat cake and a picture of the cake uh, obviously are not attached to that. So you could remove those. You could put a different sentiment in there. You could put those somewhere else with the cake, you know, on a different card. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with that. Here they picture it uh, on the front of a card here where it cut out the center, put eat cake. And this is actually the outside of the card that it cuts out. It cuts you out. It cuts you out a card, actually, with design, with scallops all the way around it. So you don't even have to cut the edge of the card. That's the simplest. Okay, spellbinders. Um, these are embossing uh, die cuts or dies, embossing stencil dies. So there's three uh, Christmas stockings in here, and. You can see the little bubbles on them. That's where it embosses. And you can see holes where it um, debosses or cuts right out. So without turning them over, it's hard for you to be able to see where it debosses. But it embosses, it debosses, it creates a stencil. So you could uh, lay it down as you after you cut it. You could lay it down and you could color stripes or the checks um, 
on the stocking so you could stencil and it cuts. So cut, emboss, deboss, and stencil. That's an awesome set. Okay, uh, Spellbinder Celebrations. This is a happy birthday card. It's a die. And so this will cut out the card again with the scallops and everything all ready to go. And then there's happy birthday, some presents, and that's what it ends up looking like. And so it's um, basically a, a cutout frame you can then set on another card. So you could build that card, you could elevate it with you know your thick, um, can't even think, double stick tape, your thick double stick tape behind it. You can uh, decorate it, you could use stickles, you could use flat back cabochons or flat back pearls. Um, all kinds of things you can do with that. You could use that one as a stencil too to create something entirely different. Here's an Echo Park. An Echo Park a bundle of joy with a star, the pacifier, reasons I love you, sweet, cuddly, happy, the baby shower, uh, the branch for the owl. Uh, this down here says handsome, rough and tough, my little man, bundle of joy, cute as a button, giggles, giggles, and precious. So this one is called Bundle of Joy. Um, I like the old-fashioned buttons and the duck, of course. So another good baby one. Okay. Here is um, a die plate that says Celebrate. It's a Celebrate plate. Hopefully you can see that. You can see three banners hanging right there the celebrate and then there's little stars and and a border and things so it's going to cut all of that out um so this is what you're going to get so you can make a card where it says celebrate you can put uh, they put like the ombre paper uh, paper behind it or put white paper and you paint it painting is so much fun paint it whatever color you want or colors okay here's a stamp set that is all about coffee I've seen some super cute coffee cards. I just can't seem to make them, but they're so cute. Love coffee cards. Uh, this one is called Cup for Two, and there's a coffee cup. This is cappuccino, espresso, love cafe, mocha, iced, Americano, uh, sugar, roast coffee, milk, light Colombian, black latte, strong classic, and frappe. Frappe. You and me equals coffee time. A polka dot coffee mug and a coffee mug with a heart on it and so there's five uh, pieces to this stamp set another stamp set this one is many words thank you congratulations surprise 24 7 today celebrate yummy explore thinking of you celebrate two different fonts and two different sizes so you can celebrate a lot Together, happy birthday, enjoy, life, and love. So that's a lot of stamps in there, 15 stamps. <clears throat> Versatile. Oh, this is a fun one. These are tape stamps. So if you don't have a lot of washi tape and you like the look of washi tape on things, you can actually just stamp your own washi tape. Just use different colors of ink and you know every time you use it you can make it a different color but to and from this one's like a stitched uh, ribbon this one says celebrate this one has clouds diagonal lines and chevron and so they are pieces of tape and i think there's one more yes there is this one also has decorative pieces of tape and they are all very different from that one there is polka dots. This one has words, and I can't see what they are. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to see them, or if you know if you'll be able to see them when they stamp, or if it's just like um, that vintage look of you know words script that is all faded that we can't really tell what it says. Either way, I think that's cool because I love that type of um, old vintage script. Um, this one has. Um, a lot of vintage stuff on it. It's got more like Tim Holtz type of stuff, numbers and calculations and letters and things like that. So all kinds of different different shapes, um, different sizes and different styles of tape pieces. <clears throat> all right, here is five Stampin' Up! embossing folders. 
These are all brand new Stampin' Up. This one is honeycomb or could be used as chicken wire. I always look at how many different things can I do with something when I get it. And, you know, honeycomb, you got the whole bee theme and that's huge. And then you use it as chicken wire and uh, the whole uh, farmhouse thing is huge. Lots of stuff you can do with chicken wire and mixed media. Okay, um, this one is um, falling petals. So I guess I can see falling petals, but they really look like hearts or butterflies to me. And maybe when they're embossed, they'll look more like just petals. But I love the fact that they look like, you know, falling petals shaped like hearts. So that's kind of cool. This one is arrows. Pretty self-explanatory. This one is pine bow. So it embosses the pine bow onto your paper that you put through there. And this one is called Festive. Let's so get close enough that you can see all the different designs on that one. There's several. <clears throat> okay, we've got more. Here is an Echo Park stamp set. Uh, smile, the uh, big like mandala design, star, oh snap. The running arrows, 100% perfect. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> this one under here in the corner, <laughs> not sure. Oh, it's a circle. There's a, an, another stamp inside it that's a camera. And I think you can use the circle separate. Yeah, it feels like a separate stamp from the camera. And then don't forget, don't forget, I'm in awe of you. You are amazing that you make me happy. I love you always. U equals impressive. All right. Um, we have a Richard Garay stamp set. This one is called, it's from the Noteworthy collection. It's called uh, Phone Notes. And it says, you are awesome. The old telephone, let's have lunch. You mean the world to me. You make me smile. And a conversation bubble, a word bubble, chat bubble whatever kind of bubble. Here's a Spellbinders Celebrations. Um, this one's called Sunny Days. And this one has 10 pieces. It has stamps and dies. So you've got two sizes of clouds and both of them have a die uh, with them. And then you've got the sun with a die. And then three stamps that say, wishing you bright sunny days. Actually, there's four stamps. Wishing you bright sunny days. Join us you are invited, and the line. So if you wanted to um, <clears throat> create an invitation, you could say, join us, and then you can put the line, you're invited, you know, put the line, and you can fill in all your information on those lines. So there's 10 pieces to that one. It's a full set. Okay, here is uh, fun tags. These are stamps, and the stamps stamp out the three um, tags and then there's also stamps that say happy birthday best day ever to from it's a party and happy day so you can take just those three tag shapes and make you know tags for every occasion i mean literally they're so easy <clears throat> here's a jelly bean a jelly bean set of clear stamps this is summer red raspberry soup you and me, another a mandala type, uh, three sizes of butterflies, three sizes of flowers, thanks, spring, hello, cutie, and a raspberry. So there's 15 actually in that set. Okay, uh, Spellbinder Celebrations. Uh, this is a Richard Garay, and this says uh, tag that. Um, and these, man, I've used these in so many different ways. Um, there's six, so you have two different sizes of each of the three shapes. But you can use them as tags. You can use them as chat bubbles. You can turn them into a balloon bouquet and just add stri uh, string on a card or on mixed media or anything you're doing. Oh, we're about to have a craft -a lunch over here. Oh, hang on. Let me grab before it goes down, maybe. Tried to bring all the 
envelopes over with me and they're not stacking very nicely. So these are dies, um, very, very versatile. They call them tags, but you can use these in you know, many, many different ways. And the last one in this set is a Dyesire metal, metal die shaped like this. This is the roof. So you can cut out and make the roof of a house. Isn't that cute? So literally all you have to do is take your piece of paper, take a piece of paper and fold it square so it stands up. And then you can cut out um, four pieces shaped like this. Just set this down, use it as a stencil and draw four like that. And that would be your underneath, the white underneath. And then you die cut out uh, four like this and you put them on top and you have your decorative roof. How cool is that? This one is called Bordeaux. Create a card. If you make it so it opens, huh? Make it so it opens and you can even have a card inside. Uh, but no, I think and you can do a lot of other things with this too. You can put it on the side. Okay, so if you put this on the side of a card, I don't know if you can see, but it cuts on this side. It cuts on this side. It does not cut on this side. So find a piece of paper. So say this was, <clears throat> say this is the card you were going to give and you put this through the die machine and see the, not going to cut on this side, but it's going to cut on these two and you put it like this and it runs through. It's going to cut like that and you'll get you'll get your triangle right here, your point, and you'll get all this design cut out in here, but it won't cut on this side. So then when you take this paper and you fold it over, say you want to do it this way, or maybe you want to do it this way, you have, this would be, this would be cut into that triangle, you know, something kind of sorta like that but all this would be cut out with all the design. And so you could see through it. And so you could put a piece of glitter paper underneath it. And actually what I would do is I would draw, I would put this down on the glitter paper and I would cut out around that, use that as a template again. And I would put the glitter paper underneath the top so that when you see through the design here, you can see the glitter paper, but when you open it up, you still have your writing space there. Not fun. Lots of things you can do with that. So that again is flat rate envelope number seven. Retails four hundred and fifty-five dollars. Uh, D stash price is two twenty-seven, less than half price. Um, free shipping. I will again ship internationally, as long as my international friends are willing to pay um, the difference between the flat rate envelope and whatever the cost is um, to their country. Okay, here's the last one for this video. This is flat rate envelope number eight. This is the one that is full of Disney, I think. I think, I think. I hope, I hope, now that I said that. Okay, it's got Disney Plus. Disney Plus, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so we'll start out here with Disney stamp set. There are 11 pieces to this, and this is the Disney princesses. So you can see them all. No, don't need to tell you who they are. And crowns and butterflies and a mirror and, you know, the fun. The Disney princesses. And then this is a script border. It's a metal die. And it says, let it go, let it go, let it go. So if you'd like to do something with Frozen, this will cut out, let it go for you. And it is a border, it cuts it out twice. So if you cut this out multiple times and lined them up next to each other, you could make a really awesome border of a banner or um, along a birthday cake or something. Okay, this one is um, Ariel, Princess Ariel. And there's the die, so it cuts out. I don't know how, how well you can see, but there's this is all, you know, the water and stuff. 
and here she is and here's her hair and her face and there's no face on there so it's going to cut out everything and then they give you this little tiny stamp that is of her face it's got her eyes and her mouth so then you take this and you stamp the face on your card that's cool because most dies do not include face stamps okay here's a disney pixar cars this is uh, Storming Through. Um, storm. Let's see. This is 70% of actual size. That's obviously actual size. I was trying to see exactly what that said. Down here it says Storm, but I don't know what it says there. But all you people who have sons that love cars probably know exactly what that says. So, so this is Storm from Cars. <clears throat> Another one from Cars. This is Lightning. Lightning from Cars. Those are fun. A lot of times we don't see great stamps and dies like that to make stuff for the boys, but those are perfect. All right. Speaking of Frozen, here's Sven. I like Sven. He's one of my favorites. Hopefully you can see him. There's some great detail on Sven including his smile and his eyes. They look just like him. Yeah, so that's a cool one. They're all cool ones. I say that every time, don't I? That's a cool one. Here's Anna, Princess Anna from uh, Frozen. And again, when you cut her out, the face is blank so that you can take this stamp and the stamp looks just like her. It's got her eyes and mouth, which are different from Ariel's. I guess you could mix and match them, make your own um, princesses, but they just won't look like, <laughs> they won't look like Disney princesses with funky faces. All right, here is Beauty and the Beast. And they are dancing. So there's the beast behind her, and here's Beauty in front with her back to him. They're dancing together. She's got her hands in his hands. And it's a die, so when you cut it out, you have both of their faces there. They're so tiny, I know I know you just you can't see them. I don't know, they don't really show a good picture of the stamp there. But um, here's how the die comes out without the face. And then you stamp the face on. So, but again, they've got their own specific um, stamp that is exactly of their face okay here is cinderella these are stamps disney princess cinderella uh, friend, uh friends add magic to your life always be kind there's the pumpkin carriage and the horses pulling it there is who lived happily ever after um invite to the ball um it's all it's all so magical. Uh, I'm ready for the ball. Some of these are tiny because they're not full size. Must be home before midnight. There's the carriage. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Oh, how cute. <laughs> that one's so cute. Bibbidi bobbidi boo right there. So, yeah, those are not actual size. Those are small. But this is um, Cinderella's stamp set. <clears throat> and. Let's see, another Rapunzel, Rapunzel stamp set. Again, these are not actual size. They are quite a bit smaller. I always dreamt it would be like this. Uh, always chase your dreams. And there is <clears throat> the uh, cut out of Rapunzel. And that looks like a hanging lantern. Never stop dreaming. Some, you know, minor deck, uh, decorative things on the sides here she is with her long hair big adventures big dreams big hair friends light your way and that'd be cute to put on this on a sweatshirt or t-shirt of a little girl with really long hair big big adventures big dreams big hair <laughs> um I dare to dream let your hair down best day ever i do like all the little flowers and uh accessory things that are there to decorate for rapunzel um, I think I see another cars. Yep, here is um, A6 icon stamp. Oh, all the icons. All the icons from cars. So they these are smaller than they actually are, but these are all the icons that, that would come 
And so if you make cars, you can, or, you know, draw cars or stamp them from, cut them out from the other ones, you can put these icons right directly on them. Okay. And I'm not sure if there's any more Disney down there, but here is a stack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Stampin' Up uh, embossing folders. This one is called Lucky Stars and it has stars all over it. This one is called Decorative Dots. They're not quite like polka dots. They're slightly misshapen, which I love. This one is called Pretty Paisleys, and it's got the uh, ring with small paisleys. This one is called Stylish Stripes. This one is called Happy Heart. This one gives you two, and they're small, the small ones. I love making mini cards with these small embossing folders. They're about half the size of, you know, like the two by threes. Or sometimes if you do ATCs or you do swaps and things like that, you can emboss those little cards before you do your art on them. It gives them a cool background too. This is called Floral Affection, two different types of floral embossings. This one is Zigzag. Hmm. And this one is textured impressions. So it looks like a tree, a piece of wood. These are so cool to work with. You can use the um, uh, a core paper where the core is white and the outside is brown or bronze or whatever you want. After you emboss it, rub it really softly with um, a, a pretty fine... Uh, <laughs> sandpaper I <laughs> lose my words all of a sudden pretty fine sandpaper and then it starts to rub that off and the core comes through and so you get the different uh, texture look with the white and the brown or the white and the bronze and, and it looks very vintage and, and real it doesn't look like white brown so um, tree trunks or wood backgrounds are really fun to work with lots of stuff you can do with them and this one is called confetti so you can emboss confetti around and then put a sentiment or something right in the middle. We had another one in there where you could cut out an oval. You could cut out the oval and put it right in the center and then um, uh, glue a sentiment right on top of that. <clears throat> okay, here is um, four Spellbinders sets. These are all uh, clear polymer stamps. And I have one of these. I never thought that this flower looked like much right here, but when it is actually stamped and colored, it's a really, really pretty flower. So <clears throat> two different sizes. There are some <clears throat> little accessories. A special gathering, thinking of you, my friend, and thank you. It, the set is called My Friend Polymer Stamps. And this one is uh, tape. Did we already have this one? No, or was that? That might have been in the, that was in the last set. Okay, good, good. One in each set is okay. Uh, but if there was two in the same set, I would take it out and give you something uh, of equal value or, or greater value for the same price just to replace it. So these, this is where you can stamp your own tape. It looks like ribbon or tape, like stitched ribbon, celebrate ribbon, the clouds to and from Chevron and the stripes. And the coffee, we did see the coffee one in one of the last uh, envelopes. Cup for two has you plus me equals coffee time. And this is called Beautiful Friend. Um, this is a really nice banner that it cuts out. And then you get all these words. Cousin, friend, mother, sister, you are, daughter, amazing, beautiful, to my. <clears throat> All right, then we have a couple Spellbinders Inspire. Um, this is Love Vine. So it's in the shape of a heart, but it's a vine with uh, the leaves, and in the center it spells out love. And then this one is called Bird Call, 
and it is like a, a pole, an outside pole. You can see little holes right there that, that it embosses. Uh, like an outside pole with the, the cross uh, hairs there and the wires and the birds sitting on the wires. And, oh, there was one more Inspire in there by Spellbinders. And this is a bird banner. This one is so pretty. Just the bird sitting on the banner. It's like the banner is just floating in the wind. And then you could put uh, whatever sentiment you want on that banner. Some people even cut these out and use these banners put on the top of their planner month or day or particular, act, um, not activity, a particular event that they want to plan. They'll put this at the top of the page and then script right in, in whatever font they like, you know, what that event is that they're planning on that page. <clears throat> Just makes it a little special. Okay, then we have two uh, more Inspires by Spellbinders. This one is called School is In, and it is fish, fishy fish. Reminds me of Nemo. There's two of them in there, two different fish. So, okay, so here's an idea. <clears throat> I, I have this one, obviously. So you cut this fish out of two different colors, two complementing colors like blue and orange or orange and white. And then you do the same with this one, blue and bright yellow. It look, is really pretty on that one. And then you take the body of the fish from one and the stripes that cut out of the other color and you put them together on your paper on your you know, whatever you're creating whether it's art or whether it's a, a card and you do the same on this one and then what you're left with is the other color body with the opposite color stripes so you have four fish that are no two alike <clears throat> all right this one is called around the world you have the bon voyage paris france back there but it's the world with the airplane flying around the world in the clouds. Okay. And last but not least, these are fun ones that I use all the time. These are all dies. And they work, all of these dies work with all of the die cutting machines. So whether you have a cuddle bug, a Sizzix, a, you know, Spellbinders, any of the cutting machines in Evolution, it will work with all of those. This one says live, laugh, love. That's what they look like, but they are, as you can see, quite a bit bigger than those words, but at least shows you what they would look like. This one says friends, smile, together. Again, that's the font, but this is the size. <clears throat> this one is uh, flowers. And so you've got three different flowers. This cuts the outside of a flower. This one, <clears throat> embosses a flower and this one debosses a flower so it, yeah well yeah it's compatible with all those same machines but I was looking to see if it it does show if you take this one plus that one you know you get that one if you take that one plus that one it's I mean that's pretty obvious so I have to but both of those fit inside of this one. So you cut the flower out here and then you put this on that flower, run it through your machine again, and you get the embossed design that's in there. And these are so fun. I do use these a lot too. Uh, and these are just, um, does it have a name? I'm sure it's got a name. I don't know what it is, but they're just, you know, normal everyday signs and symbols that we use a lot, asterisk, um, this is one of those, um, um, in mapping, you know, on your map, when it says you're here, it, it's, that's what that is, an ampersand sign and, um, a tab. If you want to make your own file folders, things like that, that's a tab. All right. So that is flat rate envelope number eight. That's the one with, um, that's the one with all the Disney I'm going to write that right there. So if you see that, you'll remember that's the one with the Disney. And that one retails at $440 and D-Stash price is $215. Free shipping. Again, happy to send international as long as you're willing to pay the difference between um, the flat rate envelope and your country. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch these D-Stash 
um, videos. I, I really want it to be a benefit to all, you know, everybody in the crafting world because we're all, we all struggle to, you know, do what we want, what we do and get the things that we want. And sometimes it's really nice to get a great deal. And sometimes you're the one that offers the great deal. And sometimes you're the one that gets the great deal. And I've certainly, you know, found myself on the receiving end of great deal, you know, a time or two. So I'm happy to offer it this time. So thank you for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, share, um, invite anybody that you think might be interested in a great deal to um, share the video with them, send it to them so that they can come look at them. Um, thank you for all of your support in getting my channel up and running and my Etsy shop up and running. Uh, if you haven't checked out my Etsy shop yet, please do. I do have house mouse stamps in there. I've got a lot of things for junk journaling. Um, some of those things sell really quickly and they don't stay up there. And I just haven't had time to get massive amounts in there. So I will be getting a lot more in there. But um, leave in the, the comments any thoughts you have about the... Uh, flat rate envelopes if you would like to see flat rate boxes that hold more that would still be free shipping if you would like to see flat rate envelopes that have less in them so that they aren't don't cost as much um, if you find a friend that wants to go in on one together you know and share it if there's something particular if you'd like to see a flat rate envelope that has dies stamps embossing folders washi tape embellishments you know, let me know. I have got hundreds of washi tape that I, I'm going to need to de-stash. De -stash. So not sure if people want to see all of the same kind of thing in an envelope or if you, you would really rather have a variety and have some of everything in the envelope. So feel free to comment and let me know your thoughts on that because uh, I've put out eight envelopes now as of this one, but I've got a lot more. I've got a lot more stuff a lot more envelopes to put together. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.